Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Look who's joining us. It's Miss Kimmy Jenkins. Hi. Princess or, Camilla. Or Camilla. Go. Princess yes. Camilla, good to see you. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> Happy <laughs> National Hat show. Day. Yes. Yes. It's a good morning for a hat it because is. it is cold and drizzly outside. It keeps you warmer. And you, you look like you're ready to head to the big game. Yes, I do. Are you going to go to the game? No, I'm not. <laughs> I know I catch it on TV, but let me show you something okay. here. What do you got? Let me show you. Oh! oh. Look at those! Oh, I'm Kansas ready Chiefs. for the look big at game. The, yes, hold the, look at that. Lucky socks. Chiefs. Chiefs right there. Are you, yes. are you a big fan? I'm a big fan of Kansas City, and Chiefs are in Kansas right, City. Right, exactly. You're a big fan of shopping in Kansas City <laughs> and eating in Kansas City and Plaza. And actually the Royals. I grew up going to the Royals game. Oh. I have been to one Chiefs game, but we okay. had like the very back seat, like where you turn around and you see your car. Like, oh. You're in the nosebleed. Yeah. Definitely yeah. nosebleed yeah. section. Yeah, but it's always fun to go to a game. It was fun. I love to go to a live game. I yeah. love your boots, by the way, and yeah, thanks for rings. taking off your, your shoes on TV. <laughs> yeah. yeah, love those socks. They smell all right. <laughs> and you always look great. Yes, Thank you do. Thank you. So what's on your mind today? What's, what's going, going on? on? Well, I do a little bit of speaking at churches and mm -hmm. schools and different places, and there's a couple friends that I speak with. And so last week, we had a promo pick day where we're going to get together, look all pretty, take pictures, right? Well, that morning, I have to tell you, was like one of the worst mornings. You know how you have those days sometimes? And that was a day I wanted to look and feel my best. But I got up. I know how much time I have to get ready, to get my kids to school on time and have myself ready as well. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, it just didn't go that way. I guess the kids were more needy, more needy that day. Mm -hmm. uh, my hair was half done. My makeup was half done when we left. The kids barely made it before the bell, you know. It was pouring down rain. The cat had gotten in my car and I had to chase her down. <laughs> I got in the car and there were no keys. I had to find those. You know, like oh. everything went wrong. My umbrella had all the water on it. We got inside and it like opened up in my car and like soaked me again. Oh. <laughs> oh. I got to where I was going, couldn't find my wallet. So I like run back down into the rain, fi finally find it, you know. So thing after thing after thing. So my question is, mm -hmm. how do we stay grounded on days like that? Yeah, tell how us. do we keep it mm -hmm. all together? How do we do it? Well, I mean, I want to know your opinion too, but well, I think uh, let me just say, I it, we're supposed to be thankful in good times and in bad times. I yeah. think if we can realize that everything is a lesson, it really does all start up here and right here. If you can think, okay, if we ask for patience, what are we going to get? We're going to get problems so that we can learn patience. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But we never like the lesson when it's right there in front of us. Yeah. Me, I it I can tell my day's going to go by the time it takes me from walk to my house to my car. Yeah. Because I find, like le like you said, you couldn't find the keys. Yeah. When I spill my coffee walking to my car, <sighs> when I can't find the keys to get in the car and it's super hot coffee, yeah. when I can't get, I'm stuck behind a slow car, let's say, and you're trying to get to work, it's that, that mind over matter thing. Mm -hmm. Because I can tell driving to work if it's gonna be a good or bad day and I have to mentally psych myself out to being, mm -hmm. hey Jeremy, it's just a little coffee. Right. It's okay. Right. Yeah. It's, your day doesn't have to be dictated by spilling coffee on your lap exactly. that day. Exactly. Yeah. Well, so what do you so do? what is your answer? Well, you know, I am learning to laugh at myself. Right. <laughs> so I get there and I am wearing the chaos of that morning, you right. know? But when you see the pictures, I already saw some of the previews, you can't tell at all. And it's right. a good lesson because first of all, social media, when you see somebody that looks like they have it all together, you don't, don't. know the whole you story. You don't know. Because I know I don't have it all together. You don't know. And the other thing though, is that I, I just learned to laugh because it's right. like, you know, when I look at those pictures from now on, I will always remember the chaos of that day That's right. and how much fun we had doing that and how you know it's just you gotta laugh absolutely and those do bring back memories and I I'm the same way I'll look at a photo and think oh my goodness I know what was happening that day or I had 102 fever or whatever and it doesn't show you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. Kevin my favorite photo speaking of we had a family photo taken late 90s yeah. the entire family for some strange reason was fighting like you would not believe. Yeah. It was just one of those chaotic Christmas mornings, yeah. fighting, 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 and all my mom wanted was a family photo. Yeah. We all got together, bit our tongues, took the family photo, but every time I look at that Christmas you photo, know. I go, we were fighting <laughs> yeah. like nobody's business on that Christmas morning. Yeah. It just, you know, like yeah. you said, everything yeah. went wrong could go wrong and everybody's feelings got hurt, yep. right. but we have the photo. That's yep. true. And I remember it. And you just have to trust that the best thing is happening. Say you get, you are getting to work late or you, you miss that light or whatever. You're in where you need to be at the perfect timing. Maybe if you were earlier on time, you would have been in a wreck. Yeah. You don't know. So you have point. to appreciate where you are. And at the end of the day, I've read the end of the Bible and I know God wins. So yeah. all these little piddly things that happen, I got to keep yeah. that in my heart. That this is temporary. It is. But it's hard with kids, though. 
<laughs> oh, kids just change everything. You come on, let's be honest. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think it's hard with dogs. It's okay. even harder with kids. Every day in my house is yes. chaos. I admit it. I admit it. But you always, we love you, Kimmy, because you always seem so put together and so yeah. grounded. And we love that because you help us stay grounded. Oh, so thanks. we appreciate that.